Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Modern Misconceptions, where today we'll be talking about how in a wolf pack, the idea of an alpha wolf is just a figment of our modern culture's imagination. So where did this myth originate in the first place then? Well, let's go back to a scientific study in the 1930s and 40s, where an animal behaviorist named Rudolf Schinkel began a study on captive wolves in Switzerland. In this study, he helped to identify the sociology of the wolf, and what he found was that there are two primary wolves in the pack, male and female. Schinkel describes their relationships as follows. They, as top animals, carry through their rank order and as single individuals of the society, they form a pair. Between them, there is no question of status and argument concerning rank, even though small fictions of another type, jealousy, are not uncommon. By incessant control and repression of all types of competition within the same sex, both these A animals defend their social position. After his paper was published, a snowball effect occurred, thus spawning the alpha wolf. Also in his paper, Shingle points to similarities between wolves and domesticated dogs, which he argued that meant domestic dogs must also have dominant dogs. However, there is one key problem with his experiment. His wolves were in a closed environment, not in the wild. In the wild, however, wolves' behavior contrasts very sharply. In the wild, wolves live in family groups, with no sense of rank. Although, some wolves show dominance, which is not surprising considering all other species that showed dominance as well including humans. This is a quick synopsis about where the alpha wolf has come about, but there is much, much more that we still have to learn about these canines. In fact, some research shows that alpha wolves and dogs even exist, but it seems only in a contained environment, like a zoo or dog training. So in conclusion, we know that in the wild, wolves live in families with little to no social order, but in a contained environment, they may display signs of social dominance. Whew, this is a bit of a longer episode this week, but I think my videos will fluctuate like that. Some topics just have way more to talk about than others. Whatever the case, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you are never late for a new video.